if the games press thought that there were some negative aspects of gaming culture, what do you think would have been a better way or more nuanced way of criticizing that rather than attacking the gamer identity as a whole? Um, perhaps I, I, it's funny. I've been thinking about this for the past few days, trying to think what would I do if I was in that situation where, um, where I had the power to, to, to put together articles, I guess, I guess just be more direct with with who I was criticizing, exactly what behavior I'm criticizing, and also be more selective with what behavior I'm criticizing. I mean, as you said before when you were talking about uh, Leigh Alexander's articles, some of the things she was criticizing is just the purchasing decisions of another adult, or how they looked while standing in a queue. I mean, really... Are these the hills you want to die on? Are these the hills that you want to defend? Like, I, uh, I think be more specific. Decide what actually matters in terms of things that you're trying to criticize, and and be a bit more compassionate to the people that may unintentionally be caught in the crossfire. If they had written, whether Alexander or somebody else, a mm-hmm. Gamers or Dead article, but they obviously didn't call it that. They were saying, hey, look, there's a problem with gaming culture. Here's the specific things that I think are, are wrong. Here's some specific examples. Let's talk about this. Let's have a conversation. Would you have wanted to have that conversation? A hundred percent. I would be a hundred percent down to have that conversation. And I still would be down to have that conversation now. There are definite aspects of people, bad actors within the gaming community that do make it worse for the rest of us. Um, and having a conversation about about their behavior and about how, better ways to prevent it, better ways to discourage it, uh, I think that that's great. I, I'd be happy to have that conversation, and I'd love to. Um, but I feel like a lot of that conversation at the time was overshadowed by this feeling of elitism uh, coming from sort of the games journalists 